welcome back. Today we are copying my one and only beloved Bagu Packable Grocery Tote. It's my constant companion and it needs a friend, so let's get started and make another. The materials you will need are listed in the description along with timestamps. To create the pattern, maybe screenshot this guide and follow along the next step. Create a 22 by 25 inch rectangle. I created mine by folding the paper in half and measuring 25 inch length by 11 inch half width. From the top, measure down 11.5. At this point, measure half inch, then one inch from the open side and 5.5 inches from the fold. Do the same at the top and connect these lines. Create a shallow curve from the half inch mark, then a more rounded curve in the opposite corner. At the bottom, measure 3.5 inches from the open edge. Also measure four inches from the top along the handle. Next, measure three inches from the fold to create the packing pouch. We will adjust it later. The handle and packing pouch will be on a folded edge. This makes the bag stronger. The fabric I chose was a very lightweight nylon ripstop. You can use anything you have, just make sure it will be robust enough to hold groceries and light enough to pack. Place your pattern with the handles and the packing pouch on the fold. Pin and cut out. From the fold of the packing pouch piece, measure down seven and a quarter inches, then cut. The pouch open should be six by 14.5 inches. Measure two and a quarter inches from one end. Fold over a quarter, then two inches. Fold the opposite side quarter and a quarter and sew along either edge. I didn't have a close match for thread, so I decided to go with a nice contrasting yellow. Fold the two inch seam back and line up with the opposite side. Sew half inch seams on each side. This will be serge, but while we're at the straight stitch machine, we will use a rolled hem foot to finish the inner and outer handle straps. To start, roll your edge an eighth and an eighth and place under the foot. After sewing a few stitches, bring the folded edge into the roll guide and curve the fabric as you sew. Snip any stray threads as you sew, otherwise these will poke out in the seam.
Before we move forward, this is the final bag inside out to give you a clear understanding of the following instructions. Fold the bag with right sides together, measure from the top 4 inches down, and with wrong sides facing, pin together so you have an 8 inch portion pinned for sewing later. First serge the perimeter of the bag. Then serge the raw edges of the packing pouch. Fold over the seams and sew down at a quarter. Then turn out. And that's your pouch complete to apply to the finished bag. Sew up both sides of the handles. Then sew a half inch seam around the perimeter. Then you want to fold over these seams and sew at a quarter inch for reinforcement. Next sew the packing pouch at the center with the flap side facing up, with the bag inside out, of course. To finish, fold either side at 3 inches and sew along the base. And that's it, it's done. Turnout and it's complete.